serving the rest of the soaps. So now I'm going to do a brown. a white and a green. <clears throat> There's the green in the big pot. Do some white in this one. and blender back and blend these up. And you always mix from dark to light when you're stick blending so your colors aren't getting off. So your colors aren't getting all muted by a darker color after. Like if I put my stick blender in the white after doing the green, it would have a green tint. Okay, and I'm just going to give all the buckets a stir just to make sure that everything is incorporated good and there wasn't any color stuck to the side. And like this one had some white stuck to it from pouring it off, so I have to blend that all in, make sure it's all colored. <clears throat> Okay, wipe up my splashes. <clears throat> Move my mold up. <clears throat> well, first I wanna, I wanna, I'm gonna do, let me tip this camera up just a little bit. I'm gonna do an in the pot swirl here. So I'm gonna dump some brown on that side. Some brown on that side and I'm going to just save whatever's left in the pot that isn't coming out on its own for the top. <clears throat> Take a little bit of this out because there's a lot of white sticking in there. Okay, now I'll bring my pot or my mold over and we'll start pouring. Give it a smack down so it levels it out a little bit. Scrape the rest of this right back into the rest of the big pot where I have a little bit left to make some other size or shapes of soaps. <clears throat> Let's do the same with the white. We'll run a little drizzle down the middle to give it a little swirl. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
I'm going to set that all oh, crud spatula head first into the pan. Okay, so now I'm just going to take and do a swirl. This is my favorite part of doing soap, actually. The tops are very therapeutic. And because this is more of a manly soap, I'm not going, it's kind of gender neutral, but the men tend to really like it. So I don't want to put glitter on this one. So just show you the top. And then I will be back in 18 to 24 hours or for you guys in just a second, because I will add it right to the end of this video to show you the cutting. Have a good afternoon. And there's our first cut. I love the swirls in these. This is a, probably one of my top selling men's soaps. This and pine. Fifty Shades Salt Soap too is very big with men. That's they're both they're all gender neutral, but they're this is these are the ones that men tend to go to. Also, my fall spent scents are pretty popular with the men as well, like my orange clove, which is another loaf I'm going to be cutting this morning. I've had that orange clove for a couple years, but tobacco and bay leaf, I think I started making this this year. I've made a few batches of it now, but it's the first, I think it's the first year I added it to my line. Somebody at a show asked me if I had a tobacco scented soap. And my first thought was, that's disgusting. Why would you want to smell like tobacco? But after I got requested it about three or four times, I'm like, all right, there's got to be something about this that I don't know. Maybe it's not as disgusting as I think it is. So I started researching different 
tobacco scents, and this one had really good reviews and good strong hold, good strong scent, so I didn't discolor, didn't misbehave, so I tried it and it's stuck around ever since because it's just been a big hit. Okay, that's Tobacco and Bayleaf.